Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my two-part series of um, small maps. And the last episode was a map of a small interior, which as you can, which you can see right here. And then in this um, episode, we're going to be making a um, small exterior map. And the theme, I mean, um, the is it the theme? The theme of this, I'm gonna just say the theme. I'm pretty sure there's a theme. But the theme of these two uh, small tutorial maps are to um details. Details, details, details. The more details you have in the smallest in the small the more details you have in the smallest space that you have, the better your maps are gonna look. Bigger isn't always better when you're making maps. Always um try to find the right size for your maps and fill it with as much details as you can possibly um do so now we're gonna go ahead and make a exterior map so we're gonna go ahead and call this tut out map and we're gonna go ahead and make this exterior and of course um it also depends on what which tile sets you're using as um i'm using the default tile set so again um, what I call a small small map is uh the default seventeen by thirteen. Um, twenty by twenty is also small. Um, all the way up to let's say about twenty five twenty five, which is actually kind of big, but it's actually small. Um, okay. We're just gonna go ahead and what I, when I start making my exterior maps, the first thing I like to do is just fill it with the grass, and then what I do next is get the the tall grass and just make a small patch of it and then copy that small patch and then just randomly place it and then after that what i would like to what i do now is get a weird um portion of it like this and then again no not like that and then just start doing stuff oops trying to get the right shape Get the right shape. That's not the right shape. Right shape. Yeah, that's good. And then later on, what I like to do is then make the map. So we're gonna go ahead and make this building, which we're going to use. Um, let's say this interior. I mean exterior. Um. But is this an evil castle? No. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and see this. Oh yeah, when you're making um um, I'm just gonna use this on just for um simplest city. When you're making a a building, you have two options to make it only one layer, to only use a one layer style, which is oops, which is just like this. And then if you want to make it a two story build, then you add another layer like that, and that's a two story building. So that's basically like this. Okay, like this, and then you put a you put a window here, here, and then you put like more windows down here, and that's basically your, um the one layer style. Or you could just make it uh a regular house style, which is I call it. So which is two layers, and then if you want to make um a two story building, you add two more layers. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this like this. I'm gonna be using the the other one, not the one layer style. <laughs> I usually use the one layer style to add um filler maps. I, I mean filler um buildings, and I'm actually doing this backwards. Um. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, one, two, one, two. Symmetry is your friend. Okay, now what we are going to do now is just go ahead and make the door. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Um, that just hindered me. One, two, one, two. Go ahead and stretch this out. Symmetry is your friend, although this house is no longer symmetrical. 
one, two, one, two. Oh, it is okay. Um, just want to put this in the middle. There we go. So that's um our basic outline of our um map. So now what we're gonna do is just start making the road. And actually, before that, let me actually just make the. So we want this house to be in the middle of nowhere. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and add a whole bunch of trees to act as our border of this map. So go ahead and fill in the tree, fill in the trees, fill in the tree. Fill in the trees, I'm filling in the trees. Fill in the trees, I'm filling in the trees. Fill in the trees, I'm filling in the trees. Fill in the trees, I'm filling in the trees. Just go ahead and fill in all the trees. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and need this. And I'm gonna go ahead and need ooh, that. Okay. And then I'm gonna need this. Ooh, yeah. Nope. I'm gonna need this. And da, 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 I'm gonna need this, and then I'm gonna need that. So go ahead and fill in the trees on that side, and let's go ahead. I don't want it to be. I don't want the trees to be on all the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this side. No, just make it one. I mean two patches. And then fill in, fill in. Feeling, uh huh. Okay, the map is coming along quite nicely. Again, make sure to fill your maps with details. Details is your friend. So that's the order of my mapping. When I'm mapping exterior maps, is grass first. I mean, yeah, the small grass, the tall grass, then make the make the buildings that you want to make and then after you make your buildings start adding the trees and the flowers and the river or anything that you would like to add and we are going to be adding this river maybe right here make it go outside that map over there um that's good enough that is good enough okay um we do need a path over here and also when you're making your paths mix i mean make them connect but don't always make them connect which is actually kind of confusing to explain but make them connect but don't always make them connect you see how this breaks off over here don't always like make it all connected just make it connect and then like stop it from connecting and then just like break it off no oh, that's a bad example right there um i'll keep it the way it was before devin okay then i'm gonna go ahead and add a fence over here oops if only this fence can go on top of that. Also, when you're adding the trees, also make sure to add both trees that you have and not just the one type because you want variety, 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 variety in your maps. So, yeah. Go ahead and add that there. Um, give me one. Add it there. Give me a cluster over here. Go ahead and add this. I actually added one cluster too many. Add this here. And as you can see, this map is looking quite nice. And, and this map looks really nice because it's so small and packed in with details. Right now, we're not even done with the details. I mean, you can, as you can see, it already looks nice. Then you just start adding your flowers and anything you need to do. 
Um, the flowers just go nuts. Just don't try to put them too close to each other. And one thing I've been saying for the longest, it's always nice to have this type of flower just um, next to each other. I'm just going to replace this one. Just put it right next to each other. Two or three of those always look nice together. See, I'm trying not to put a flower there because it looks kind of weird having this flower here and then having another one right there. So I'm going to try to avoid that area right there from putting flowers. Maybe a tree trunk. Which, you know what, let's just move this flower up because it's just messing me up. Okay, see, we have those kind of flowers. Now let's go ahead and add some white flowers. Don't try to add too many and don't try to add too little. Oops. Mm -hmm. Now this is messing me up. So let's just go ahead and take that out. Put it right here. Maybe put it. Oop, no, just. Uh, I'll just keep that one. I need a good spot to put two. So let's put it right there. Um, then at the little shrubs, I, I think they're called, I don't really know. We'll go ahead and add those, I add two. Um, tree tr trunks, um, add another one right here. Uh-huh, okay. Um, this kind of flower, we don't really need it, but I'll just add one right there just for aesthetic reasons. Maybe add that there. Check up on my time, 11 minutes. Um, so far we have details on everything but the building itself. So what I'm actually going to do right now is go ahead and make a, a door. Since we're using, see the uh, small doors, these ones are for the, if you're making a one layered style, um, doors, but we are using the regular, um, style. So we're going to go ahead and use these big doors and then connect it to our map. Which is right there. Although the outside walls doesn't really match the inside walls. Again, it's for tutorial purposes. And that was only because I like the... Actually, the walls are good. I'm talking about the black stuff. So, just go ahead and transfer these. I could make it... You know what? Yeah, let's just make it a door. When I'm making the exterior um, um, transfers, I usually don't like using doors because it looks kind of weird. But... I guess we could use a door for this one. So that's a door in and out. Oops. Uh, what I like to add now over here. And wait, again, remember that your your map is always going to be changing. So like right now, okay, you know what? No, that's actually, that's actually not good. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, yeah, that's good. That's good for um an opening for an exit. Go ahead and just replace that part of the tree. And put this here. Whew, this is hard work. Not really. So we got we got our maps and it's connected to the inside. Now let's start adding details to the house itself. Um details, details, details. Mm, nope. That is a terrible, terrible thing to do. Go ahead and add this, this, um, uh, maybe add this here. Um, border door, close windows, blah, 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 maybe one here, no, not really. Um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and use these, put one here, put one here, actually put two here. Um, yeah, I'll put that there, but now just go ahead and move this over. And add more stuff to the floor. Because the more stuff you add, the better it looks. Oh, um, don't just add a whole bunch of random stuff. I mean, you can't just like add a billion flowers to like one map. It's gonna look retarded. Just add a lot of stuff, but add it to where it's relevant and needed. Add it to where it's relevant and needed, and don't just add it just to add it to say, hey, my map is going to look the best because I have a whole bunch of these um things there. And also remember, using events to add aesthetics are, is your best friend. Just see, I got a rock right there. Make a step in, put it in the water. 
I don't know exactly where to put it. I'll just keep it right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, let's go ahead and find. Just keep looking through stuff, and then when they hit you, when you see the right stuff to add to your map, you will know. You will just know instinctively. Uh, maybe add this here. New key. Event. Since we have a, we have a chimney. Is it? I mean, yeah, chimney. So let's go ahead and find this right here. Put it on top of the building. I don't actually know where, so I'll just put it. I did, I just didn't want it to be in the middle as directly. So new event. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, these two um series are gonna be long, 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 long videos. Still adding um. Still adding effects. Step in animation. Step in animation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test this map out real quick just to see what it looks like. Hmm. Besides the smoke looking weird, it's pretty good. And also make sure that every place is like reachable. See, as you can see right there, it's definitely not reachable. Okay, um, this is blocking the path, which is terrible. You know what? I don't actually care, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to fix that, but it is blocking the path. Make sure you don't block your path, but in this case, I really don't. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that is good. I'll just make it so that's a back to the house, so go back here. Ooh, no space. No space at all. <laughs> Door. Door. Does that ruin our inside map? Maybe. Maybe. Go to the exterior map. Transfer, go to the interior map, retain, make this same as. Okay, now we can test this out. He actually doesn't ruin it that much. It kind of fits. Okay, we are on this side and then we could leave if we want to. Okay, I am liking this map. And then um, another good thing about um making a map this small is you could see all the details. You can just you could just see all the details no matter where you are. Don't worry about the um the pixel thing is the again battle system that I'm using. And as you can see, and I keep on doing that. Um, you could see all the details. If you're making a map, a big map, what I would suggest is make them like this size and then like just keep on pasting them to the bigger map. And as you can see, that rock is right there moving along with the with the things. And this map is not done quite yet because we still have to add more details to the building itself. I mean, it is a building out in the middle of nowhere, so we have to um make it kind of beat up well not kind of beat up but just just a little bit beat up is it finished nope it's not finished up and that one right there um you could skip on that but i'm just putting it there just for just for putting it in there sake um since we don't actually want this to um delete anything what we're gonna do is put that there with an event and again <coughs> excuse me remember events are your best friends when you're making maps with details and do i actually have that on this no i don't oh yeah i do b is right there so find it find it find it find it okay i can't find it that's weird 
Move Stop up here. here. Move down here. Where's my B? <laughs> the B is over there. Why is it showing me the exterior B and the, I mean the interior B and the, it should be showing me the exterior B. <sighs> I guess, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's actually see. Just look for a whole bunch of stuff to add to the map. A whole bunch of stuff to add to the map. A whole bunch of stuff to add to the map. Well, nothing really, but um, let's continue with the details of the house. Hmm. Maybe add this here. I never actually did that before, but that's actually that looks actually look pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much it, I would say. Maybe add that dance to that moss. But yeah, that's it for this map. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys on... Hmm, at the bottom. That's too little. There we go. Let's just add that like that. And this map is now done. And thanks again for watching. I hope you guys learned the stuff. And if you've learned something, make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more. Uh, make sure to comment below and tell me what you think about these two maps that I've created. If you think they're good or not good or any suggestions at all, go ahead and leave me a comment. And also make sure to thumbs this video up because that helps me out a lot. And thanks for watching. Peace.